happy first Friday at the Oakland Art Rumor. Please give it up for my friend Chris Riggins. White people, what's up? I feel safe. I feel safe around you because, like, I, you know, I'm in Oakland, and and now I'm like, it's rare now. Like here, I'm supposed to be one of the few black people because it's San Francisco. How you doing, brother? I see you. I'm just checking everybody because, you know, in case some shit jump off, we gonna need each other. That's all I'm saying. Like, I live in Oakland and shit, you know, I be in Oakland and I be the only black person in there and that shit be weird. It be like, when all these white people moved to Oakland. And I like it. I like it because ever since all these white people that moved to Oakland, I haven't got robbed in three years. It's awesome. It's like, y'all gave the robbers something better to do because they ain't getting shit off me. Like, I got these house keys and uh, this bar ticket. I mean, you can have that. They rock you, they like, I ain't never seen this many fucking credit cards in my life. <laughs> real white people. I love it. I'm just saying, you were real white people. Like, if someone kidnapped your little cute self, people will go looking for you and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know you're really white. Like, if I just grabbed you when I ran out of here, motherfuckers were trying to stop me. You know what I'm saying? You're a real white woman. Like, if you went missing, they would look for you. They'd be tying ribbons on trees and shit. Shania Twain would sing a song about you. Find Becky. You know what I mean? You guys, I'm just saying, it's St. Patrick's Day, a.k.a. White Cinco de Mayo. Straight and Cinco de Mayo ain't nothing but Mexican St. Patrick's Day because the only people getting drunk is white folks. Mexicans don't even celebrate that shit. Y'all like, Cinco de Mayo, man. Libertad, yeah. Fucking freedom grapes and all that shit. <laughs> Then you take some cocaine from Mexico. That's what, <laughs> that's what happens. That's what it goes. I don't know. You guys are good though. You guys look nice and well, chilling. This is real cozy and romantic style comedy show going on here. We got ladies in the front looking at my dick. It's awesome. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love this because I'm like, I'm really happy to be here because I did some shit that I don't like doing. And as I went to my daughter's basketball game. <laughs> It was, I hate doing that shit because first of all, you find out how horrible people really are when you hear them talk shit about other people's kids. Especially when it's the parents on your team talking shit about your kid because she's the worst player on the goddamn team. My baby sucks. She's got spirit for 10 basketball players, but she has no talent. Okay, here's the thing. She's scared of the ball. And I'm pretty sure that like 99.9% .9 of basketball is not being scared of the goddamn ball. Like it just seems, it's soft, it hits your head. It's okay, just, you know, it, it bounces. You know, she's scared of the ball. And like, she's so bad, I get mad at the coach when she puts her in. <laughs> Why are you putting her in the game? She sucks, coach. It's bad. It's like really bad. Like, I be having to pretend like I don't know her and shit after the game. <laughs> Meet me at the car. Good game, good game. Meet me at the car. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's basketball. What the fuck? I'm a teacher. I'm 5'4. <laughs> I said, that really makes me feel bad. Like, you know what? I'm a teacher to have a duck. Like, just get down. When the bigger kids are coming, move. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's fucking bad. I don't know. I love her to death. <laughs> Oh, like the coach put her in with like a minute left in the game. We was down by two and I got livid. Why the fuck are you putting her in? She's scared of the ball. Other parents are high fiving me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they know she sucks too. <laughs> she sucks. Sports is changing, you know. Like we got a lot of shit going on sports. Like this is San Francisco, so I can talk about this. They got a gay football player coming into the motherfucking NFL. That's right, an openly gay football player. And here's the crazy thing that I'm loving about this whole situation. I'm just enjoying watching NFL fans figure out that football has been gay for 75 years. Like, <laughs> this is some gay shit. I mean, <laughs> motherfuckers showering together and shit. You know what I'm saying? Basically, it's a bunch of dudes running around in yoga pants with pads on them and shit, you know? Think about it, them fools, they just wear a cup. They don't wear underwear, they just wear a cup. So they booty cheeks is all exposed and shit. And they run around slapping each other on the ass. And I don't 
don't know if you Sorry. San Franciscans in here watch football, but it's a great macho sport. Like, I don't, you guys watch football? Is anybody here? Yeah. I know you do, brother. You bet on that shit. It's, okay, for you people that did clap, there is a sport called fucking football, okay? And it's, it's like, all right, for instance, and for you fools that know this shit, look, like... It's like soccer, right? Like, no, it's not like soccer. It's manly, okay? It's... Soccer is, soccer is less gay than football, because at least you kicking motherfuckers, okay? Football, you just jumping on a bunch of dudes in a pile. Get the ball. Just jump on here, right? <laughs> it is gay. Like, by the way, you got the offensive line. They line up. That's seven dudes that got to bend over and can't look back. <laughs> they got to bend over and they just trust that the motherfucker behind them has their best interest in mind. I'm like, that's not a sport. That's prison, man. You're just fucking... Look back and then they bend over and then the quarterback, he just walks up and down slapping them on their asses. 22. 14. 69. That's basically his phone number. He's giving out his phone number to the defense. Like, don't tackle me. This is gay shit. And in the center, I don't know if you guys know this guy, he's the one that hikes the ball. He has it worse. Because he has to sit there and stand there perfectly still holding the ball and the quarterback does something I like to call a nut check. You know what that is, you've seen it. If you watch football, he comes up behind him, he goes on his nuts. I don't know about you, but I'm a grown man. If you're going to tap my nuts, hit him from the front, man. Don't be tap my nuts. He's gay. But I figured if, if I was going to be the first gay football player, I'd be the gayest first football player ever. I'd have lip gloss on the same color as my uniform. i come to the line like this every time. I'm gonna tackle you, number 22. I'm gonna tackle you. <laughs> I'd be the quarterback. I just walk up to the line. Where you gonna go? You covered. Where you gonna go? You can't go this way. I got you. I got you. Where you gonna go? Yes. <laughs> I'd have another team hella man. They'd be like, I don't wanna go over there no more, coach. He keep tackling me on plays. I ain't got the ball. He just slipped his phone number in my uniform like three times. I don't want to go over there no more. It's funny. I'll just be the gayest football player I could be. I got tassels on my uniform. <laughs> I come out with the cheerleaders. You just, you just, just do it to the full tilt. And like, like I like I imagine since he's a black guy, he's gonna play in Atlanta. That's the, that's the black Castro for y'all that don't know. Atlanta. It'd be a crime if he didn't, but like if I was him and, and he, I played the land, I'd be in the other team's locker room when they show up for the game, taking a shower. <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> Go Falcons. <laughs> it's fucking fun. All right. All right, enough of that good shit. All right, anyway, hey guys, it's really fun. It has been great. My name is Chris Riggins. Be on my website, chrisriggins.com. Y'all have a great night. Get up a cake. Willie.